I forgot to say this in the intro, but I will be giving away a $10 scroll. All you have to do to enter is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your IGN below. I will then be picking a random comment to win this. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Ceci. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be making my first video on ICOV. It just re-released yesterday. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, you definitely should. It has over 1,500 players. There's a lot to do. There's a bunch of different game modes you guys can do. I'm going to be going with the Elite Iron Man game mode. It gives you 12% bonus drop rate, 18x skilling, and 18x combat XP rates. And if you do end up dying, you do drop down to a 10% drop rate. So it's like hardcore Iron Man, but it's honestly pretty worth it even with that. We're just going to skip the tutorial for now. First thing I want to do is just some thieving. That way I can get some early game cash. I do want to buy some supplies so I can rush Winter Todd on here. You guys didn't know. Has Winter Todd, Tempros, a bunch of different mini games, but you can just go over to the tool shop and then buy all these tools. There is tool belt on here, so you can just buy all this and add it to your tool belt. You can't add all of this to the tool belt yet until you get all the levels. It looks like I already have all this. Okay. Fuck you too, then. We're just going to drop all that. But for Winter Todd, you do need 50 fire making and wood cutting, so. I think I'm just going to bust that out and then we'll be able to start Winter Todd. Alright, I ended up getting 50 fire making and wood cutting and I ended up getting 10 fletching as well just so I can fletch logs there. Right now I'm thieving to get one mil to buy a house so I also get construction XP at Winter Todd. You can buy south of home, you can talk to the state engine and you can just buy a house from him. But I'll be back when I get this one mil and then we'll be able to do some Winter Todd. We got one mil, woohoo! We can finally play the game. So yeah, you just talk to him, you say, can I buy a house? And then boom, you get control, you spend all your fucking cash. I got 22K to my name. And to get to Winter Todd, you can click any tr teleport in here. You just search Winter and you get Winter Todd. If you guys haven't done this game before, you, the main objective is you burn down logs. You go in. Take, take hammer because I'm pretty sure I didn't add one to my crate. But Winter Todd energy is 100%. So at first you go here and you chop down the roots. If you stand in this corner, you won't take damage. Oh, as I take damage as I say that. But snow falls and if the snow lands on you, you take a bunch of damage. I also forgot to bring food, which is a dumb thing. Thing since I'm an elite, but you cut these logs and then you can click craft on them to fletch them into kindling, which you can burn in. Dude, this is a fourth Ellie I've seen in less than 10 KC all day. But as I was saying, you burn, you can either burn the logs in for more fire making XP or you fletch them into kindlings for um, fletching XP and fire making XP. That's why this game is so good. You just get going to 99 farming, you get some fletching levels, you get wood cutting levels, you get a, a shit ton of supplies. But you just do this until um, it's down at 0%. Um, for this series, I think like. I don't have a main goal. I do wanna, I do have like some things I wanna do. Like I wanna do raids. There's gauntlet on here. Uh, I was learning gauntlet earlier. So I wanna be able to do that. I wanna do TOB. Pretty, I don't know, I'm like eventually I want comp cape I think, but for now I'm just gonna stick with mini goals. I'm not gonna be like, all right guys from episode one, we're going comp cape. So right now I'm kinda just Getting my stats up overall, just playing the game. Once you fletch your whole inventory, you just feed it to the brazier. And you'll notice here you get points, you get 25 per one. To get a to get loot from here, you need to have at least 500 points to get a crate. And I will <laughs> I'll be back when the game ends so I can show you guys the crate, but you do get fire making XP like when it goes unlit and then sometimes the brazier breaks and you can get, that's where you get construction XP. But 
You kind of just cut logs and burn these the whole game. That's the point of the game if nobody's played it before. But I'll be back when this game's done and I have a crate that I can open for you guys. All right, it looks like the game's about to end, so 1%, all at zero. I'm just bringing my extra stuff. So, again, getting a supply crate. And you can open this. You have a chance of getting like Pyro Outfit, which is bonus uh, fire making XP, or a Dragon Axe, or Tome of Fire. But mainly supplies. And first piece, I get a piece. Okay. My other account, I'm like 93 fire making. I only have two pieces. But you get a bunch of cash, you get supplies like herb, wood cutting, fire making, crafting, all that. So. It's a pretty sick early game to do and you want to stay at 10 hp so you take less damage because with the snow and everything you take more damage the higher hp you are so normally this is like the first thing people rush on their iron mans i think i don't know if i'm gonna camp here until 99 but i am gonna camp here a bit and just stack up a decent amount of crates and then just do a spam open of them see what i can get from it but i'll just be doing this for a bit i'll be back with an update for you guys all right after this game i should get 99 and then we will be able to open all of our crates from 99 i ended up getting 69 fletching which is pretty good and 27 crafting just free and then we have all these crates um I know, I don't know how many I can open at a time. They do give a decent amount of stuff. Just open the first one. Yeah, so from one of them, you end up getting like seven, seven items per one. But we're just gonna, I'll be back when I have all these opened. You guys can kind of see the loot. That you're gonna expect but i'll be back when i have all these open cool. we got a tome that's pretty sick that's my first tome that'll be good for mage i want a dx even if i don't get it, i can end up getting it from dagonos but it would be cool to get one from here that way i don't have to worry about getting it from dags tome is a really nice upgrade we have two more after this we didn't end up getting the full pyro set but i ended up getting a bunch of duplicate pieces and with these duplicates, you can actually bring them over to this, uh, it is, I can't speak, Ignisia, I can't dude, but you can exchange it for more crates. I guess you can't do the torch. You might have to use the torch on her. No, but you end up getting more crates that you can open and you get honestly insane skilling supplies from these. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> What are we going to get from these last two? All right, it looks like I didn't get up anything too good. The tome is the only real good thing. I mean, obviously, like, the supplies are nice. Could get, could have gotten better, but this is a loot from 50 to 99 fire making. Obviously, it's different for everyone. You guys could get luckier. You guys could get worse luck, but that's what I ended up getting. And Winter is a really good thing to rush first if you guys are doing an Iron Man, so I'd advise doing that. Alright, with me getting 99 fire making, I am gonna wrap up episode one there. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I know it was just winter tog content, but I did want to rush this and get it out of the way in the first episode. That way I don't have to come back. I ended up getting a tome and a bunch of skilling supplies out of it, so I definitely say it was worth it. In the future episodes, I'm gonna mix it up with PVM, skilling, combat, minigames, a bunch of random stuff. So I hope you guys do look forward to that. I appreciate you guys watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.